right? So this is the answer for number four. Cool. Okay, let's do the um, number four, number five. Okay. So th they're they're saying. Um, If if the if the light now is violet beam, okay, and the inviolet is one point five five, okay, so they want to see um, the d the distance. So the d is from here to here, okay. This is the d. So they want to see the d. Uh, they want to compare it between the violet and the red, all right. So let's see how it's going to happen. So, um, so what do we need to do? Yeah, we need to find the angle. Okay. Okay. So they came at the same angle, which is 43. So we'll do N air sine of 43. Will be equal to n n well we should put yeah ng for the red um, times the sine of the the angle we want to see okay so let's crank this guy we'll get the sine of minus one will be equal to sine of forty three divided by the one for the for the red NGR, okay, and it was 1.445, okay, so let's see this guy, so sine, inverse of sine 43, divided by 1.445, and we got 28.26, is that correct? Let's see. Give me one second, guys. Oh shit! This angle is the um. This angle is this angle that they gave us. When we do this, we gonna have time to find this guy, which was seventeen, the one we found before. That's right, so this guy is 117, sine of 17, okay? Let's do this again, so... Um, it, it's not gonna affect anything because both of them has the same sign and we're just comparing. So anyway, um, so sine inverse of sine 17 divide, um, divided by 1.445. <coughs> Right, so the angle was 11.67, and this was for the red, okay? And for the other guy, which was the, let's do the same thing, which is sine of, sine inverse of sine of 17, divided by 1.55, okay? Alright, so, sine of, Let's do sine inverse of sine 17 divided by 1.55. 1.55 they gave us the in the question. Let's see for the violet, the n for the violet. Um, so we got um, 10.87. Okay. So what what does all that mean? Okay. So if you look back here at this one here, so if the red has a bigger angle. Okay, the this distance will be bigger, as you can see, and okay, and so let me examine this again. Let me draw this back here. Okay, so if the light came here, came like this, okay, here, and got reflected, so it got reflected with. Um, slow down so it's gonna go like this okay and then the red will be will go like this because this was like 10 now uh, this was like 11 okay so that's why the D will be 
in the um, the D for the red will be bigger than the D for the violet. Okay. All right. So let's do this. Last question. I'm gonna need another paper. You know, let's try to do it here. Let's try to do it here. Okay, so number six. Alright, so if the theta one for the violet started with 60 degrees, okay, um, what would be the uh, what would be the theta three? That's when it's gonna go out, okay. So let me use this real quick. So this is 30 degrees, and they said that it's 60 degrees, and if you look closely, it's going to be perpendicular to the surface, right? So this is going to be 60, right? So when it's entered the first time, it's going to go right straight, okay? It's going to go straight. So if this is 30, and this is going to be 90, because it went straight, right? Because it's 90 degrees, so it's going to go straight. It's not going to be reflected or refraction or anything. So the angle here will be 60 degrees, right? 30, 60. So let's draw the perpendicular to the the normal to this line. So this is the 30 degrees. All right, so it's easy now. So the N for the violet times the sine of 30 degrees will be equal to N for the air times the sine of whatever angle we want to find. Okay, and because it's going from um, a large n to a less n, so it's gonna go like this, some some kind of like this. All right, so inviolate was 1.55 times the sine of 30 degrees divided by one, and take the sine inverse for this guy. Let's do this real quick. All right, so 1.55 times sine of 30 degrees and take the sine inverse for the answer and you'll get 50 degrees so the theta will be 50 degrees 50.8 and if you look again this is the angle between the perpendicular and the um, perpendicular and this guy here okay and they want with the x-axis, okay? So we'll, you'll do 90 minus 50.8. So 90 minus your answer, and you'll get for the, what do they call it? For the theta 3, theta 3 violet will be equal to 39.194. Whoa. All right, the la this one, this one I think I did it right, but uh, I can't know from smart physics because it doesn't tell me it's a time time question. I don't know it until like a week from now. Um, okay, um, hope this helped, and you got it. I know it's a long problem, but it's worth it. It's just trigonometry. All right, guys, good luck. Bye.